to answer your question. Yeah, she was just saying like, uh, do you want to participate or like? Yeah, are you a Muslim by any chance? I'm, I'm a Muslim. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm a Christian. Of course, I believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to truth and life, and there's no way to heaven other than through the Lord Jesus Christ. He makes that very clear. And anybody who doesn't believe him, unfortunately, isn't doing with hell fight. That doesn't mean, of course, I go around screaming at people's faces, saying they need to repent. But it's it's prevalent every man anywhere should repent. That's the truth. So, what do you believe about the Quran? Quran, yeah, of course, um, is one of the I think the biggest. Um, book in the world as well as also um, it's the message from the from the Allah we believe and uh, the Quran um, shows us how to um, behave in how to interact with people you know things like that and then also guide us to our life so take me through this process and where do you get your Quran from it's, um, it's came by a messenger called Hajjad Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Mm. He's a prophet. He's a, he, we believe he's the last prophet and he's the best prophet of all times. And through he, we, uh, through uh, the prophet, we uh, got this Quran. And how how do I know that? So let's say let's say I look at a historical document, right? Yeah. How would I know that Muhammad received the, the Quran and he gave it to people, or Muhammad received revelations from another? How would I know that? Of course, um, uh, because we have we we wouldn't be there that time and also from the history and also we have to believe as a Muslim that uh, there is so many story story behind it because the Quran is not came at, at one time it's part by part mm -hmm. so it came different situation and different message from from the Allah so yeah oh, sorry, I understand I mean my question was though like how do you like how how do you not? Because like if you if I look in history, I can say to you around the time of 70 AD or before 70 AD, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were written, and then the disciples of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John wrote down what they've written, and then so forth and so so forth until we've got copies and copies of the gospel. So I can say that. So I've given a time frame now. So we've got, for example, you know of the Sahaba, right? Yeah. Those are the companions of Muhammad, right? Yeah. So from according to at least most historians. Your, your prophet would have died around 610, maybe? Yeah. Well, he would have been born around 610. Or maybe, yeah, he would have been born about 610, my bad. And then he would have died around, I'll say, 640, around that time, or a bit later, right? He dies. Then a person by the name of Caliph Uthman, who's his successor. I don't know. Are you a Sunni, by the way? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, so that makes sense, yeah. So his successor, according to tradition, uh, Caliph Uthman, then burns all the copies of the Quran around the Arabian Peninsula. He then standardized one Quran. He sends that Quran to cities like Basra, Katara, Damascus, there's others as well, right? So what he does then is he sends them with reciters, right? Where can I find that copy or the earliest copy of that Quran? Well, as far as I know, the Quran has not been changed uh, since it um, uh, came through the messenger. So how, how do you know that? I don't, I... If, I, if I believe that as a Muslim that it has been changed, I would be like... Because on that time, so many people, it's not only was reading the Quran, they're also memorizing the Quran. So, like, they call Hafiz, in, in Arabic, they call Hafiz. So, yeah, Hafiz. so if, let's say, if somebody changed the Quran, the Hafiz, who was there, there, and it's been a process, so the Hafiz is keep building, building, building. So, anyone mm. change the Quran, they immediately they can recognize it. Because it's been, it's not only in by written, it's also in memory. So, but, but in the memory zoo, because uh, according to Sahih al-Bukhari, so you're a Sunni, right? So yes. you know about Sahih al-Bukhari, right? Yes, yes. Sahih al-Bukhari, al-Bukhari claims that he got his sources from little bits of parchment, from certain memories of men, uh, from other bits as well, but that, in fact, a lot of it was lost. I mean, imagine you and I play a game called Chinese Whispers, right? Yes. I tell you something, right? You tell somebody else, right? Eventually, and we know this through basic studies, eventually somebody's going to forget some parts. Yes. That's what happens. Yes. To say that the Quran's been memorized over time, yet you wasn't there, it's, it's, it's either that you don't understand it properly. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not accusing you of understanding, but it's either you don't understand the transmission of the Quran or you don't know it. So would you agree that you don't know the transmission of the Quran? No. Basically, what you say, somebody can forget it, right? But yeah. it's not only one person. Let's say when, it, when it, there's a group, groups of people are memorizing it, if one person 
forget something, the other person can correct it. That's how it's been like that. And, and, and I, as a Muslim, I strongly believe it has not been changed by any. By, and also some of the, there is so many uh, article about that as well. So I'm not an expert of the Islamic. So if I ask a scholar, if you ask a scholar, then they might answer your question very well because I'm just a general Muslim. So, so when, why does Sahih Bukhari book six, if you don't mind me asking, why does Sahih Bukhari book six essentially claim that Uthman or Caliph Uthman, who I told you is a successor of Muhammad, why does it say he burnt other Qurans because they were incompatible? If they were, if the Quran was from the very first time of Muhammad, always, always secure, always safe, it was translated perfectly. If that was the case, then why was there other copies or, or random translation of Quran all around the Arabian Peninsula? I never heard that. What about just said? Yes, yeah, it's, right, it's from Sayyid Bukhari book six. Now you. You're a Sunni, right? So you would yes, know that. Yes, uh, did you do you want me to look it up for you? Sorry, yeah, Bukhari but, Book Six. But, but I never uh, heard anything like that. So you can. You can yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll quickly show you. Uh, let me just get up. If my internet will work. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to look in my actual notes because this is not coming up. Um, you know what? No, it's probably the <laughs> album You're freezing. Yeah, it's very cold. Yeah, yeah, it's very cold, very cold, man. Uh, one minute, just bear with me, man. Um, I'm just trying to get it up because I've actually got it in my notes. A lot of the stuff that I've got is just unfortunately <laughs> just mingled everywhere. Um, so, uh, 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 there is only one Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for um, Sai Bakari Book 6. Come on, come on, just fight again. So, da, 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 let's do it. In the, in the meantime, obviously, I'm going to inform you that at the end of the day, I, I do believe that the Quran isn't perfect. The reason why I would claim it isn't perfect, ultimately, is because I don't believe a book that is orally transmitted can be perfect. A, a succession of, trans, um, of oral translators. I'm not agreeing with you because I strongly believe that God yeah. has been unchanged and I'm not agreeing with you because this is the only um, holy book in the world It's remained unchanged and people was trying to change it but they were not unsuccessful. There was an incident I think a couple of years back in France um, mm. someone take initiative to change some of the things and then you know it was just unsuccessful so I don't Believe so you said that, that that's the, it's the only book that has not been changed. No, in the world. But how would you know that? Again, we've already determined yeah, that you like weren't I said there. Before, that um, because you know there were so many Quran and Hafiz over the time, and it's keep reading it's in process and, and all that. So so you you wouldn't really no it's you something it's something yeah. just written, and that's, it could be changed or maybe you know maybe printing. But when someone is is when someone some people are it's been rectified by different people, mm. different Hafiz. Hafiz means mm. you know like memory the Quran so but if something's written though we can at least we can at least go back to earlier manuscripts so what we can at least do is we can at least go back to earlier manuscripts to show that oh this thing has these words in it so if anything later comes comes and says oh it has these words they would be liars but if somebody's orally if I say oh I heard this from my friend and I tell you and my friend comes to you and says I didn't say that like who who is telling you the truth is it me or the person has told you this. If I have something written from my friend, from the time that he said it, and it's signed by him, then... No, it was written by that time. Yeah. It was, it was when uh, Muhammad uh, received the Quran, uh, right. uh, it, it was written in different way, and then the pers some person collected all the, all the information and then put in a book, and then, yes. So where's the right. earliest copy then? And I, by the way, I, I can't find this first. I will get it up in a later time, yeah. but it's fine. Uh, yeah. No, it was it was basically the one. Yeah, one there is in. The, yeah. I, I believe there is in a museum where where it's, it's still in there. Okay, so in a British museum, the earliest Quran you have in a British museum comes from the 17th century, so that's at least a good thousand years after Muhammad. So bearing in mind, like it could be somewhere, but I'm not sure. Like I said before, I'm not Islamic scholar, so maybe if you ask this question to make a big. Oh no, I'm not. So here's the thing: I'm not trying to expect you to be an Islamic scholar. That's not the thing I'm trying to expect you to. I'm, I'm trying to expect you to at least look at it objectively. Yeah. If you make a claim that this book has been copied and copied and there are no mistakes in it, you have to prove that. If I come and say to you, well, where's the proof of this? You've just told me it's the case. You said that a bunch of dudes claimed it was right, therefore it's right. But that doesn't mean it's right. I could say to you, well, well Christians 
Well, Christians over the centuries no. okay, basically me... affirmed that the scriptures were okay let and they transmitted it orally between each other. Let me give Therefore, it's okay and we should believe in Christianity. Now, would you believe in Christianity if I told you that? No, let me give you some example. Like, when I, I'm 26 years old, so when I was born, right. the Quran I read and the Quran I read now is exactly the same. And also, if you compare, let's say, we are in the UK, if you collect a Quran from this country and if you go somewhere like far, far, let's say, Oh, yeah. can, you, can you look for, sorry, sorry, one minute. Could you look for the uh, hadith regarding uh, the uh, transmission of the Quran? Sorry, sorry, Bukhari, book six. Yeah, yeah, yeah go on. Yeah. Yeah. So let's say if you compare a Quran from this country and maybe some other, it's going to be exactly the same. So that tells you it's, it's, it's remain the same. Well, there's many different cards. Did you know that? So there's the Kowloon Quran, there's the, uh, there's the, I'm going to have to get it up. No, but yeah, the, there's, the, yeah, the there's message, a Sinai Patrick Quran, there's a Sinai the Palace is, Quran. The message is the exact same. And, and, and well, most scholars could be different, wouldn't uh, say translation. that. Let's say sometimes it's Bengali translated, it's I mean English translation, but the actual main things is the same. Well, Maybe most scholars wouldn't say it. For example, look, here's, here's one of your earliest Qurans. Now, this is a, a slideshow done by a, who, a professor by the name of J. That? Smith. So this is a slideshow done by a professor by the name of J. Smith. This yeah. is actually a... a um, Professor by the name of Tyre Alta Coolidge. He's a Turkish historian, right? Uh, is he Muslim? Uh, yes, he is a Muslim, yes. So he's saying this. He's saying, this is actually, no, this is, first of all, this is Karl Heinz Oleg. So this isn't Tyre, Tyre Alta Coolidge, is the other guy. But they're both mentioned in this pamphlet. It says that the Quran began to be compiled in the last two decades of the seventh century, and the other versions continuing until the ninth century. Now, Karl Heinz Oleg is an historian. Historians generally would know this stuff. He's saying that it was compiled during the later decades, after, well after your prophet died. So there was no writings before that. During the time of your prophet, there could have been no writings. As far as I believe, there was writing, so I don't know. But, but you, don't, you don't even know the earliest can, copies I, of your prophet's writings? You don't know the earliest? Earliest, I can't remember, but uh, I, I'm sure um, I hear so many from the so many Islamic scholars. So this is the Sonar Palimpsest, right? That's an early copy of the Quran. If you want, you can take a screenshot of it or look it up on your phone if you want or even ask your imam about it. This is one of your earliest Qurans. The earliest Quran you've got is called the Birmingham Mus'haf, which is basically three surahs. It's not a full copy of the Quran. We don't have a full copy of the Quran, at least from your prophet's time, or at least a good 80 years after. This is the earliest one. And this is dated, the lower text is dated from 671 to 705. Now remember, your prophet dies long before that, around 610, or, 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 or bit, a bit after that. Again, the dates can be muddled, but a bit after, yeah. That's the, that's the lowest text. The upper text is dated to 705 AD. That's, that's nearly a good, what, 40, 50 years after? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is your earliest manuscript, and already you've seen problems. Two pages from the Sari manuscript. So this is the two pages from the um, Sarnar Palimpsest, right? This was discovered in Yemen, right? Let's continue. So this is, this is what it says, okay? So, the, the, the Quran you're reading right now is called the Hass 1924 Quran. You mentioned earlier that from, you're 26 right now. Yeah, I'm 29, yeah. by the way. So yeah, you mentioned when you were younger, you were reading the same Quran that you're reading now. Yes. The problem is like, you're only 26. The, the, the Hass 1924 Quran is more than 100 years old. Yeah. Well, it'd be 100 years old right now. So we're talking 100 I'm years- talking about my generation. Even my, before the, my generation, they all just read the same Quran and it's been, yeah. You know. Okay, but I'm showing you before your generation, and this is a difference. So I'm going to I'm going to note the difference. Look, in the Sarnar Palimpsest, it says this in, uh, and this is, um, this is a sort of the Quran, it doesn't actually say, but this is a sort of the Quran. Um, and you can get up on your phone if you want, if you don't believe me. And they said, our hearts wraps, but in fact, Allah has cursed them for their injustice. So this is Surah 288, right? And that's what it says, if you've got a Quran, you can get it out, right? It says, but in fact, Allah has cursed them for their injustice. So little is that they believe. Now, the Quran you've got today says this. And they said, our hearts are wrapped, but in fact, Allah has cursed them for their unbelief. So is injustice the same as unbelief? To be honest, I'm not, okay, let me see. Is that the one that you will look in the Hadith on Uthman? Uh, Last, Uthman. Uh, yeah, yeah, about him. About him being burnt. Is that is that yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. And I'll yeah, I'll, I'll get back to this in a moment. I'm going to read this out for you actually, because I don't want to be distracted. In fact, you know what? I'll do this first because I'm already. Sorry, see, yeah. I don't want to confuse you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Just uh, keep holding the phone for a second. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. 
Because honestly, with these sauces, you have to just get them out. But the, the point I'm trying to make, and I hope I'm not going too fast for you, the point I'm trying to make is that this, the Sarnar Palimpsest, which is your earliest Quran, from at least 670 to 705 AD, says that for their injustice, they, they, sorry, Allah cursed them for their injustice. That's what it says. You can read it here, yeah? But it also says here that in the 1924 Quran, which you read, it says that Allah cursed them for their unbelief. So the question I ask you, is injustice the same thing as unbelief? To be honest, I'm not, I, I'm not clearly understanding what he, he's okay, trying to so say. The, the point I'm trying to make is that you claim that the earliest Qurans from the time of Muhammad have been unchanged. This is an early Quran and it has different words than the Quran you read today. That's the point I'm making to you. Do you understand my question? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So the Son of Palimpsest has different words than the Quran you're reading today. That means the Quran has to have been changed. It can't have been perfect, otherwise we had the word injustice in the Quran you read today. Do you understand what I'm Yes, yes. To be honest, um, yeah, I, 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 I even don't know this person who made the comment. So, he's, he, he, as you said, he's Turkish and uh, so, but I'm not... Well, these are historians. The, yes. thing, the, the job of historians but, is to look at the actual data and to discover themselves to be what honest, it says. I'm strongly believe, and whatever you're going to show me, you can't change my mind and my belief. Quran has been remained unchanged. That is blind, my, my friend, that's blind faith. If, yes. if, if a Hindu was yes. to come up no, to no. you and say, look, I believe in Vishnu, you're going to no. hell, Hindu, is that the truth? Yeah, like, I don't want to make any comment about Hindu because Hinduism is something I don't believe is a religion. You don't believe it's a religion, but they do it's believe man, it's a religion. It's, it's, it's a kind of man-made religion. But they believe it's not man-made. They believe in they believe in multiple yeah, gods. They I, believe in about, elephant gods. I read about the history and, and, and everything. So I And believe. so did I. I read the history of the Quran and I know that it's man-made. You see, you see, you see, you said that Hinduism is man-made based on your ob objection to Hinduism. Because, but, our, because you read the history. And now I'm saying I've read the history and that the Quran is man-made and you're not coming to the same conclusion. Do you think that's fair? Do you think that's fair on the Hindu? <laughs> but it, it's, it, I read so many books about Hinduism as well. And because I am from Asia, so I know about more Hinduism than mm. other religions. So after uh, Muslim, I, I also read some of the books about them as well. So this but is how, make and also sometimes, some of the thing I find is, is no, mm. like, um, for example, after anyone died, they, they burn it, like their parents and, and, and like yeah, that's, yeah. I'm not here to defend Hinduism, mate. So, I'm, so, I'm just saying, so look. Something very much, it doesn't make any like sense to but, me. But like. then how does it make sense to believe in a Quran that's been orally transmitted that you don't even know the earliest copies from, and you don't know whether they match the well, copies you've got today? Know. Somebody else have... Uh, but but you said yes. you would believe in that regardless. Even if, even if I show you actual copies of the Quran earlier than before you were born, that are clearly because different, you would still believe that the Quran has been transmitted from the time of Muhammad all the way until now. That's blind faith, my friend. First time, it's, it's not the first time I hear the Quran has been changed. So many other people claim, but as a Muslim, me as a person, I also believe the Quran has been unchanged. My friend, we have to come to a conclusion that things are right. We can't just live in blind faith. Because the problem with blind faith is, then who can you argue against? You can't say that I'm wrong. You can't say the Christian is wrong. For example, I worship Jesus as God. Can you say that's wrong? I'm not saying wrong. I'm not judging any other. I'm person. not saying judge. Can you say that I'm wrong and that, that I don't have the true God? Could you say that? That's true. No comment. <laughs> you, you can't come on it. And that, see, that's the problem. You see, in your religion, you can't say that things are objectively wrong. I can. I can say that as 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 much as you follow Muhammad, you don't have the truth. Because the more you follow Muhammad, the more it leads you down to hell. For example, Muhammad says in Quran chapter four, verse eighty-two, he doesn't know where he's going. He doesn't know where he's going. No. He's talking about. Yeah, Muhammad. Muhammad, yeah. He says he doesn't know where he's going. So no. how do you have certainty no, of the no, no, afterlife? No. You are going now uh, far away and I have to m make a move now. And all I want to say... Is the Quran far away? I mean, I didn't no, know no, it was. No, no. You, like saying, like, you are saying about Muhammad say he didn't know what he was going. Yeah, he of didn't course, know where he was going. Of course he, he knows. Then why did he say he didn't in Surah 4, verse 82? No, no, I didn't say... Didn't say no, he, he says that. Yeah, well, no, no, no. I, I, I don't think he, may, he said that. Do you want me to show Wait. you? Yeah, no, I don't want to, you don't, you don't want to okay. show me. So Maybe. you don't want to read your Quran now, but you believe it's from God? Listen, sometimes, for example, you are, you can just show me a, a, a part of a Quran, they're saying, maybe the next part, you don't know what he was trying to say. 
because you were just cutting a part and saying, oh. But aren't you doing that with Hindus? Aren't you doing that with their religion? Aren't you doing maybe, that with Christians? I don't know. Maybe sometimes. What you, what, what you try to maybe say, you know, for example, I try to say something and you just cut my word and you just uh, showing the next Oh, no, I don't have any reason to do that. We can read a book in context. Sure, but but the, the difference is, I believe that, of course, the Bible comes from Jesus Christ. I believe we have more information about the Bible than we do of the Quran, in fact, because the Bible is, in essence, is from... One minute. The Bible, in essence, is from God. Now, I'm making that claim. I'm making the claim that the Bible is from God, that God inspired the words of the pages of the prophets, and that Abraham was a Christian, that Moses was a Christian, that these were not Muslims in any way. I'm making that claim. If I make that claim, do you believe it's true? I, I need to make a move now. No, no that's, that's fine. That's no. fine. Can well, you, let him read this before you go. Yeah, Can yeah. What does he want to read? What does he want to read? Can you read it? Oh, okay. It's fine, it's fine. I'm not the first of the messengers, and I do not know what shall be done with me. He said, Mohammed, or with you. I follow only what is revealed to me, and I'm nothing but a plain warner. Yeah, so you that's know what exactly the Bible what says? The blind follow the blind and fall, fall into a pit. Yeah, both fall into a pit. Imagine yeah. if you follow somebody that's blind, that doesn't know where he's going, you end up in a pit. And this is what will happen to you if you follow Muhammad. He didn't know where he was going. Didn't know where he was going. Jesus yeah. said, if you, to go to heaven, you come to me. Yeah. Jesus says he's away the truth and life. There's no way sure. over There's no way. He exactly sure. know where he was going. He was clear about his message. So, so then the Quran's wrong. The Quran. Is the Quran wrong? So no, of course not. The Quran. Quran. Then, no, then no, why no. is it that's say that he Quran. doesn't know? No, I'm not sure who. It's in Google. Who owns the Google? Who owns Google? That's this the thing. Yeah. No, it's Quran. Google. I don't no. believe in Google. Quran 46.9. Yeah, I challenge but... you. Look on the Quran on your no. phone. Then don't, don't say I'm, I'm, it's Google. Then this is Quran 46.9. Okay, I will have a look. Yeah. I will have a look, yes. This is very yeah, but serious. But I'm not changing my belief anyway. But that, that just shows that... <laughs> that just shows blind faith. faith. <laughs> it's just blind faith. Whatever you can tell me. Anyway, thank you. It was nice to... Uh, you know, nice okay. to... It was a nice I conversation. Anyway, it's okay. I can get this conversation. YouTube. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 you can look it up, yeah, yeah. And any other questions you've got, man, come to us. Of course, I don't believe what you're saying is true. I do believe you're somehow shocked by what so, we brought here today. Apologetic. So, <laughs> apologetics London. I'm really studying this man, like honestly, there is changes Jet in your Jetics. So it's like G E. So it's apologetics. G, follow, G E. Yeah. So what you want to do? Yeah. Yeah. Without S. Move the S. Move the S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Look, yeah. Sir, we want to say anyway, yeah. we care about you, so we're not here to. Yeah, yeah and I understand. And, and I just so want to add, know. ultimately, look, if you believe that the Quran's been orally transmitted for years and years, and that it's the best example for mankind, it gives us what God is, right? Your Quran says in chapter 4, verse 171, that Jesus is the word of God and that Jesus was born of a virgin, Surah 66, verse 12. So ultimately, I would say this, like the Quran clearly paints Jesus as a God. Even though it denies him being God, it paints him being a God, okay. which is a contradiction. And the Quran says in chapter 4, that if there's any contradictions to it, then it's not from Allah. So, I don't know. Anyway, anyway. Take care, man. Thank you. Take care. Yeah, I mean... There's nothing really you can say to somebody who's had it set in their mind that they're ultimately going to believe in what they believe regardless. I mean, amongst all the interruptions, my point was that if you believe the Quran has been uh, sent from Allah and it's been preserved, then you have a lot of problem with the historical studies that have been done that show clearly that your Quran is not preserved. I brought up Ty Alta Coolidge and uh, Heinz Oleg, for example, another scholar that Jay Smith also mentions. Uh, also, Daniel Brubaker and his studies on the manuscripts of the Quran has showed there's various errors within the manuscripts of early Qurans. If there are various errors within the early manuscripts of the Quran, why would we, would we come to the conclusion that there's this fairy tale interpretation of reality where we get Chinese whispers for centuries? I don't believe in Chinese whispers for centuries, neither should you. And if, if a Muslim does, then you have no reason to argue against the Bible being transmitted the way it is. You can't tell us that, oh, well, the earliest manuscripts of the Bible are hundreds of years too, uh, too late after Jesus, because hold on, you don't have early manuscripts of the Quran at all. None. Your earliest manuscript of the Quran is what we brought up with Sarnia Palimpsest. That's the earliest full copy of it. The Birmingham Quran being earlier than that. And it wasn't even full Quran. It was like three um, pages of a manuscript. So again, we don't really have any reason to come to the conclusion that the, the Quran is true. Now, we're going to meet, unfortunately, people 
who want to have a conversation about their crime but will never turn away from their beliefs. This is just the case. This is what happens. Unfortunately, we don't come out there just to discuss with Muslims. We come out to discuss with any sort of worldview. But I've noticed a lot with Muslim friends, especially with those within the Sunni tradition, is that they're unwilling to accept any other interpretation other than what they receive, which is ultimately what the Quran states they should do. But it's a bias. It's blind faith and it's not anything based on any sort of authority or religion or anything. It's just blind faith. And if we're going to have blind faith for anything, I think we should have blind faith in that which is righteousness, which is the king of righteousness, Jesus Christ. But anyway, I'll leave it there.